So I'm using the semi-automatic bath bomb press um, that Jason built, Bath Bomb Express, and I am making heart bath bombs today with a custom mold that he made. These are really affordable, so the machine is an investment, but the actual mold plates um, are super affordable. So this was um, custom made, so there's five two and a quarter inch hearts in there. And what I'm doing is um, measuring about three ounces of bath bomb mix into a Pyrex bowl here. I do go a little bit over because there's always a little bit of dust that comes out and all that. So um, you can also just put a whole bunch on here and squish it around. But um, I found that just measuring it doesn't take that much longer and the bath bombs come out um, just fine that way. So I don't mind. So just getting these in here. Usually I have my assistant Trudy here with me and she's measuring while I dump and we're able to do these really fast. But Trudy is out visiting her kids out in Oklahoma. So I miss her and she'll come back in a few weeks. But until then I am stuck on measuring duty and cleaning duty and formulating duty and paperwork duty, all the stuff. She usually helps a lot so that I'm not doing all of it by myself. But right now I am. So this bath bomb mix um, is pretty simple. Um, it has baking soda, citric acid, has SL, coarse SLSA in it. It has um, apricot oil. And um, I'm actually using polyglycerol 4 oleate this time just to see how it works as a solubilizer um, because that's what I had on hand because the um, polysorbate 80 that I usually use is coming but it's not here yet so it'll get here soon but this is a small custom batch for a client of mine and she's totally fine with experimenting so I don't mind so um, these ones are lavender and I'm using um, a combination of white kale and clay and purple Brazilian kale and clay to get the color which again is why I'm not super concerned with the polysorbate 80 because I'm not using any mica, any lakes, anything else. So once I have those measured, you just click safety and start. And up pop the bath bombs. Is that the best? So here we go. Two and a half inch, two and a quarter inch heart. I love that I have both hands to work with when I'm doing these. Um, usually when you're using a bath bomb, making a bath bomb, um, you're holding it and um, trying to do all of the things at one time with your two hands and it doesn't make it very easy, especially um, trying to get the bath bombs out of the mold. That's when I find the cracks and stuff happen. With Jason's machine, I have like a 95 or more percent success rate with my bath bombs. Um, they just don't break. Um, part of it is because there's two cylinders on here. It's getting pressed equally. It's at getting pressed at like 100 PSI, um, which is a lot stronger than um, I could possibly do it by hand. And even using something like um, one of his manual presses, you still just can't get that nice, clean, even um, press every single time. And it's exhausting. So this machine allows me to simplify um, my life quite a bit and just know that I only have to press these once. I don't have to press them two or three times to get them going. Um, I have two machines. You can actually probably see in there. I have another one sitting right next to it that I bought um, last year and I make shower steamers and bath bombs and all of that with it. I'm excited because I get to start using um, a custom one that he's making for me to be able to do my shampoo bars. So soon I'll be able to completely be done with my smaller bath bomb press 
and just have the different molds that I need on these two machines. And why do I have two? Because sometimes I have to switch the mold plates out and it takes a little bit of time. And there is maybe will come a day when my assistant and I will both need to be making some things at the same time. The other thing is that they're just, they're really affordable. They're really not that bad. Um, Jason runs great deals all the time on these. Um, and just the normal price is affordable. It's able, you're able to take like small um, businesses like mine, home-based businesses, and kind of make them into small manufacturers pretty easily. By being more efficient with our time, we can do more things. Aren't those cute? I love them. as I go. And occasionally I'll just do a drop test where I pick up a clump of um, mix and see if it holds when I'm dropping it. Um, and then if it doesn't, if it starts to fall apart, then I'll spray a little bit more alcohol in there and then mix it all in. If I'm doing really big batches, then I might just mix in just a little bit on the top. Um, and then work my way down because by the time I get to the bottom, it's probably dried out again. Um, I suggest just the 70% alcohol because it has a good amount of water in it and you want the back bombs to actually partially activate in order to be able to grip together. Um, I know it's scary, but yes, if you don't allow at least a little bit of it to activate, it will just kind of fall apart. It'll be crumbly. You don't want a crumbly powdery back bomb. Um, well, maybe you do, but I don't. They don't ship very well. I want my bath bombs uh, to be rock hard so I can ship them. My customers can drop them if they need to on accident and not have them just explode into fine powder everywhere because that's just no fun. All right, so we're down to the last little bit. Trudy, I miss you. This is taking me a lot longer than I usually do. When Trudy and I are working together, we can whip out, you know, a hundred or so shower steamers in 15 minutes easily from start to finish of, um, all right, I have just a teeny bit left, not enough to do anything else. So I'm going to do this, these ones. Boop. Aren't those beautiful? So again, this is the Semi-Auto Press by Jason at Bath Bomb Express. Don't be scared. It's a machine that you can afford. It's definitely an investment, but you can make it happen. And any size that would fit inside here um, of mold plate, he can custom work with you. Um, he can get anywhere from one to five, depending on the size. This is a seven inch square mold, uh, mold plate and he'll make it happen.